everybody, Kevin here for Crackberry.com. We are at the QNX booth with the Porsche concept car at the Blackberry booth at CES 2012. Uh, we're gonna get inside this awesome car, which I would like to buy, with Mark here. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. And you're going to walk us through today all of the technology. Is it even called infotainment anymore? Because it seems to go beyond that a little bit. Uh, well, it's still, we use, uh, yeah, infotainment's still the word Still we the use. word, okay. Yeah, this but time. this is like infotainment on steroids. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could, I guess you could say that. Okay. You guys are given to hyperbole. I guess that's all right. All right. Okay. Walk us walk us through everything happening here. Okay. Well, we've taken this wonderful Porsche 911 uh, and done some modifications to it. Uh, as you can see, we've uh, removed the original head unit and replaced it with this wonderful bright capacitive screen uh, with some nice custom buttons. We've done a digital chronometer. There was a little analog chronometer there before. Uh, so this was kind of a, I guess you could say a playful flourish on our part. Right. Um, we also have taken out the original instrument cluster that was here on the Porsche and replaced it with a uh, LCD screen. Uh, trying to keep as close as we could to the original big three analog gauge design. Right, right. Classic Porsche. And we've mounted playbooks on the back of the headrests uh, so that people sitting in the room in the back seat of this 911 can enjoy rear seat entertainment and other good things like that. I like it. So uh, I'll take you quickly through a few of the features. We're using Using the uh, NFC capabilities of these fancy new Blackberries okay. uh, to make Bluetooth pairing with the car a lot simpler. So there's no Bluetooth devices right now. But we've hidden a few NFC tags about the car. If I put the phone down, right there, it reads the information on the oh, NFC yeah. tag. And then once the packets travel through the ether, it'll make a little beep. Oh, look at that. There you go. And now we're paired. That's awesome. As easy as that. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, tell you about some of the other features of this wonderful thing. We've got uh, a really cool multimedia player. So you can control any of the nodes in the car from the head unit. As a matter of fact, the two rear seat units can control each other, but not the front seat, just because right. you don't want to be messing around with that. So I can select which device I want to control here. I can go here and say, well, which node do I want to play the media from? So on any node, I can play media that's stored on any other node. So I can play something from the left rear seat. I can select a song. Uh, I'm getting tired of most of these songs. And you can hear it's, it's playing there in the back seat. So it's pretty cool. So multiple playbooks working together. That's sort of the, yeah. once everything's on QNX, you got this tunnel connection or how yeah, does that QNet. all? Yeah, QNet. So all QNet. of this stuff is done over QNet. Um, because QNet is a distributed operating system, it's really easy to do things like that. Uh, so from any node, you can uh, mount devices and file systems on other things. So you, it's really easy to share content and even uh, drivers and devices from node to node in QNet. Um, so that's really cool, and we have all the scrubber and all that stuff, and the volume control works. Um, that's actually pretty full featured. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we've got some speech recognition stuff uh, that is working kind of in this noisy hall. Let me see if I can uh, yes. get this going here. Go to YouTube.com. Oh, I thought I was looking for something. Information for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that's not bad. That's but close. I, I like it. I like it. Well, it's the general state of the art of speech recognition these days. That's kind of neat. Another really neat thing about this car is that we've got super high definition stereo telephony. If I can find my colleague. Ready for the call? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get a phone call in here. We're gonna get a phone call, not just any phone call. Okay. Um, this, is a, this is a call from the future. A call from the future. Oh yeah. Oh, we go. okay. We got an incoming call. Good morning. Hello. How are you? What do you got there? Uh, I've got uh, Kevin from uh, Crackberry.com. He's pretty famous. <laughs> nice. Kevin, how's it going? Now? It's going great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you're just getting a taste of our super high definition stereo telephony coming into the car right now. Yeah. Mark him a brief rundown of exactly what this is. So usually on a phone call you've got a single 8 kilohertz channel. What we're running here is dual 48 kilohertz channels um, with all kinds of fancy echo cancellation. It's full duplex. So if Justin, you start talking, I'm I talking can just right now, I can just talk Mark's over talking him. Over top of me. And we yeah. can have a conversation. Yeah, that's pretty. It's really that's neat. Pr uncommon. And there's no noise cancellation at all because usually the the bandwidth is so 
limited on a, on a phone call, you want to do a lot of noise cancellation so the speech is intelligible. This is high bandwidth enough that we let all of the noise, all the ambient noise through, so you get actual sense of the acoustic space. It's almost like acoustic telepresence, and it's very, very cool. Interesting. I'm just going to walk around my, the, the mics here. So I'm just kind of standing in front of my mobile device here, and I'm going to move over to the right side of my mobile device. And oh, it totally me. goes to the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and as I'm walking back across, I'm going to come to the other side of the car. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. So you, you, you really understand and get an appreciation for the for the breadth of the technology that's here. Yes. Um, a really cool thing that we, we have with the codec that we're using for this particular uh, application is it's not just used for voice, but it's also used for music. So what I'm going to do is I have a couple of speakers back here with me. I'm just going to play some music. Um, they're direct close to the mics. So just hold on to your hats. That's pretty much that's, it. That's smooth. That's really smooth. That's a lot better that... Uh... And the, the really neat thing is that on the other end of this call, he's got um, a, just an ordinary playbook. Uh, and this super high-def uh, stereo telephony stuff is actually going to be part of the 2.0 release uh, in February. So the video chat app, the eyeball app, will use exactly this technology. Right. You can try it with headphones on it. So it's really something. That's awesome. Yeah, the, the experience on the other end is actually, it, it's, it's pretty profound as well. So I can hear everything going on in the car, all of the, the movement when you move in the seat, I can hear everything. Can you give me an eat your vegetables? <laughs> eat your vegetables. Oh. <laughs> eat your vegetables. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> Alright, thanks man. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Thank you. That is uh, really cool. A lot of fun, eh? To totally a lot of fun. So uh, you may have intuited this because you know a little bit about rim devices. This is actually a, a playbook that we've modified. So we've changed the skin on the navigator, uh, but we've taken advantage, because we only had a, about three months to put this all together, taken advantage of a lot of the infrastructure that was already there on the playbook stack. Right. So you've actually got an app store, you've got all kinds oh, of... Oh, you got everything you got there. everything there, yeah. But when, you, when it boots up, it's booting right into that main... Right into this navigator, because yeah, this is cool. actually, we rewrote I guess the standard playbook. So, so really, that's a lot more than infotainment now. That's a full out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's an awful lot more. Well, we were, you know, told that the car was going to be in the BlackBerry booth, and they said, you know, try and make this uh, a cool. really good BlackBerry accessory, and that's what we've done. No, absolutely. Thank you very much. That was a great walkthrough. I can't wait to uh, run back and get this video posted. I think our readers are going to be really excited because I'm really excited. Awesome. Looking great. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kevin.